Welcome back. It is now 746. Plastic surgery is now routine for some people. It's still a mystery to most of us. That's why Dr. Mark Solomon is answering all of our questions this morning. Good morning again. Good morning. Here's a question from Susan from Philadelphia. She says she has what's called turkey neck. She says the skin is so loose sometimes it feels like it's blowing in the wind. Her question, what's the best way to tighten her neck? Is there any way to do it without going under the knife? Well, the best way is something that's going to be hard to determine without a, a good look at her by a board certified by a plastic surgeon. But depending upon what the problem is, there are some non-surgical ways that actually do work. One of them is uh, one that we call laser tight, where we put the laser fiber underneath the skin through a needle and, and allow it to heat up the skin and shrink it. And it's, it's a really nice technique for somebody who has loose skin. And uh, I, I believe you got some pictures of that. And there's a before on the above, that looks good. on the top, and an after on the bottom. That's an office procedure, and it can sometimes take two procedures, but generally one time will do it. It takes about six weeks for the skin to tighten up. Uh, other options since include liposuction or possibly surgery. So it really varies depending upon the nature of the problem the patient presents with. But certainly it's easily diagnosed and easily treated. All right, Karen from Wildwood, New Jersey, says she has a question. She wants to know how so many people can afford to get plastic surgery. Quote, doesn't it cost a small fortune? That's my question, too. Well, it's, it's a good question, commonly asked. But about 40% of patients nationwide who get plastic surgery have an income of $50,000 or less. Mm. Believe it or not, uh, there are a lot of ways to pay for this. One is financing, and there are a lot of companies that are happy to finance patients to get co cosmetic surgical procedures. The other thing to do is find out what it costs, put money aside, come back and get it done, which is another way that patients commonly do it. I've certainly got any number of patients that see me and then a year later show up and have surgery uh, when I've thought they, they probably forgot about the whole thing. And the answer is no, no, they've been home saving the money to get it done. Put your turkey neck on layaway. Right. <laughs> okay. All right, so you're still going to stay with us. And people out there, if you have embarrassing questions or even questions about minor procedures, a couple weeks ago, Doc, you showed us those eyelash extensions, and people went crazy asking me questions about that. I'm not a doctor. Here's your chance. Call the doctor. Or, you know, go to myfoxphilly.com, and you're going to answer their questions. Thanks so much, Dr. Thank Mark Solomon. Thanks.